Hi, this is Jim Burton with the Ivanful Group, and today I wanted to show you a little bit about a dirty condenser and how it affects sensible capacity of an air conditioner. A lot of guys don't really realize how much impact it has and why it has an impact on the system, so I thought we'd take a few minutes today and explain it. So right now what I've got is our little lab unit here set up. I just sort of threw the condenser door over just to get the pressure up a little bit. You can see our temperature splits right in range, our liquid body temperature stable. If I ran troubleshooting on the iManifold application, you can see it's exhibiting symptoms of a dirty condenser, right? And typically what we do is just uh, clean that condenser because it's gonna you know, increase the operational cost. So it's pretty straightforward on there, but not a lot of effect on the capacity or loss. In fact, if we go into performance for a minute here, you'll see it's doing about 102% of its rated sensible capacity. This is pretty normal that it's doing this low total capacity because again, uh, we don't have any latent load to remove. It's extremely dry in here right now, so we're only removing about 17% of our nominal latent capacity. But uh, again, pretty normal, but let's see how it affects the sensible. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back into the app for just a minute. Take a piece of, uh, of cardboard here, and I'm gonna block off our block off our uh, our condenser a little bit more. And it's obviously gonna destabilize the system and things are gonna change. You can see our head pressure's going up right here. And you can see our liquid line temperature's trending up. And we'll let that run with this way for just a few minutes here to get things stabilized. Whenever you're making changes to a refrigeration system, it, it takes a few minutes. You can't immediately evaluate performance because the refrigerant has mass and that mass of refrigerant takes time to heat up. So the, the heat that we're not rejecting right now is actually warming up all the liquid in the condenser and in the system. And as that liquid's getting warmer and warmer, as we're seeing that liquid line temperature rise up, you'll notice also a trend happening right here, and that is our temp split is actually starting to drop down. So we're gonna give that a couple more minutes and we'll let that stabilize and see where we end up at here. All right, so it's continuing to drop down still. Our liquid line temperature is up to about 100 degrees. And let's see how this is impacting performance. So I'm gonna go back in the performance section for just a minute here. You can see what was 100%, 102, 103% is now down to about 87% of our nominal capacity. Our latent has dropped down a tiny bit or about stayed the same. But our total capacity has dropped down again about 18%, right? 18% and we're continuing to still drop off in sensible capacity on that system and that's because that heat simply cannot be rejected. And you got to remember we're not in a real high temperature right here right now we're in a pretty mild climate we're in you know uh, effectively 82 degree outdoor air so if we're talking about a dirty condenser in the summertime in Texas we're going to lose a ton of sensible capacity off that machine and as this machine continues to operate uh, it's going to continue to drop and drop and drop. Now the reason for this loss of capacity is a couple fold, but the biggest reason is, is that heat that can't get rejected by the condenser, when it goes through the metering device, has to drop back down in temperature to the saturation temperature of the evaporator. So there's flash gas that occurs. And the cooler the liquid is, the closer it is to saturation temp, the less, the less flash gas is created at the metering device. And that flash gas is absorbing heat when it's changing state and it's reducing the total capacity of the evaporator coil. So whenever we're doing this kind of thing, when we have a dirty condenser out there, it's going to rob the system of its sensible capacity and rob the system of its latent capacity because we're effectively using the energy we would be using to cool the home simply to cool the liquid in the condenser. And that's a huge, huge problem. So this is why this happens. It's really important to grab the, grasp these concepts really easy to demonstrate with the i-manifold but i hope you got a little bit out of this video and thanks a lot for watching